वेलकम बैक फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट लैक्टोज ओपरेन और द लैक ओपरन सो व्हाट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ दिस लैक और लैक्टोज ओपरन इट इज बेसिकली द मेटाबॉलिक प्रोसेस दैट अकर इन द ईकोलाई बैक्टीरिया एंड इट वाज फर्स्ट टाइम रिपोर्टेड बाय फ्रेंकोस जैकव and jacquelis manod and it is also called jacquelis manod pathway and they worked together in faster lab in paris and proposed the mechanism for regulation of gene affection in the e coli basically this is the gene regulation at the transcriptional and translational level in the microbe so what is its meaning so here the lactose act as a inducer it act as an inducer inducer is type of the substance whose presence enhance that particular action then they reported that when the lactose is added both the scientists noted the e coli bacteria synthesize the beta galactosidase and the beta galactosidase is very particular and important enzyme that split the lactose that is a disaccharide into its mono junod that is a glucose and galactose so when there is no lactose in the medium no beta galactosidose was seen in the culture also there are two other enzyme that is a permease that help in membrane transport of the lactose in the e coli and the trans acetylase it transfer the acetyl group from acetyl coenzyme a to the lactose so it act as here the coenzyme so here the three type of enzyme are necessary for the activation and occurrence of the lactose pathway i hope this is clear to you so actually there are the particular type of genes that synthesize the enzyme and it is called the structural gene the structural gene also called cistron and there are of three type of gene ZYA and they synthesize one messenger RNA that is polycystonic RNA the prokaryotic and eukaryotic messenger RNA is main difference that is in the eukaryotic for a particular protein amino acid the particular messenger RNA synthesis but for the prokaryotic only one messenger RNA can synthesize more than one type of protein hence it is called polycystonic and here this messenger rna synthesize three enzyme that i have named earlier here is a operator operator gene regulate the structural gene and the regulator gene synthesize a repressor a regulator gene synthesize a repressor that has two binding site one for the inducer and other for the operator here the inducer is the lactose hence its name is lactose pathway first condition we will see further when there is no lactose what will happen the repressor is active and it will bind with the operator and it will switch off the structural gene and when the structural gene is switch off no messenger rna will be formed in the second condition where we act add the lactose in the medium culture medium the repressor that have been formed by the regulator gene will bind with the inducer and it will inactivate that particular repressor hence this inactive inactivated repressor will not bind with the operator gene and the structural gene will be switch on and they will synthesize messenger rna that is polycystonic rna that will synthesize three important enzymes for the metabolism of the lactose in e coli here is the overview of the whole process first condition when there is no inducer that is no lactose in the culture culture of e coli then what will be the condition let's see this is the operon this is the dna segment that is the gene in the e coli here you can see the rg they are the regulator gene pg operator gene sorry uh, pg promoter gene og operator gene 
and SG or the structural gene and here the three type of structural gene are there named as lac Z, lac Y, lac A what happens here the regulator gene synthesize messenger RNA in the absence of the lactose when there is no lactose this messenger RNA synthesize and it form a protein that act as a repressor and it is active activated processor a repressor and this active uh, repressor will wind with the operator gene on winding the operator gene it will switch off the operator gene and it will uh, inhibit the binding of messenger uh, uh, RNA polymerase with the promoter gene and hence the structure gene will be switched off and no messenger RNA will be formed here and this is the condition when there is no lactose and this condition this is called repression repression in the absence of the inducer it means when there is no inducer no beta galactosidase will be there let's see the next condition when we have added in small amount or in large amount the lactose that is the inducer what will be the condition same as that of earlier condition messenger RNA will be formed and it will uh, form from the regulator gene and it will be repressor this repressor is earlier inactive uh, sorry active repressor when the inducer is added it will inactivate this repressor and it will be repressor inducer complex and this will be inactivated complex and this complex cannot wind with the operator gene and the operator gene will be switched on this is in on condition and it will enhance the binding of the RNA polymerase with the promoter site on binding RNA polymerase with the promoter site the activation of the structural gene will be there the three structure gene lac Z lac Y lac A will be activated and they will together form a single messenger RNA that is called polycystronic messenger RNA and it is mature type it no need splicing as that in case of the eukaryotic messenger RNA and it will translate three different enzyme first very important beta galactosidase second permease third is the trans acetylase and I have discussed their role earlier the what will happen these three enzyme will act on the lactose and they will break down it into its two monomer that is glucose and galactose and hence this is the lactose or the lac operon I hope friends through my this video discussion you have learned something about the lac operon and your confusion is over if there is still any confusion with this the lack of run you can comment in comment box and in next video I will discuss about the tryptophan operon or the trip operon if you like this video subscribe my channel and share this video thank you thank you very much and have a wonderful day